It's no joke. Shining a laser pointer at a plane or helicopter, it's not funny. For the second time in just days, someone's been arrested for doing that, this time in Manatee County. 10 News reporter Grady Trimble found it landed a 15-year-old behind bars. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office was looking for one suspect on a domestic violence call. He was jumping back fences, running behind houses. They ended up nabbing two. While pilot Steve Wellman and Deputy Dennis Sanders flew at a thousand feet, someone thought it'd be funny to shine a laser light at them. It's not funny because it can be dangerous. I can't see the gauges. I can't help the observer with his job. The light from a laser pointer might look small, but the pilot says when it gets up to the helicopter, it'll fill this whole cockpit. Imagine that, but green and flashing all over the cockpit. That's, that's what we have to put up with the laser light. Wellman and Sanders narrowed down the suspect's location. Deputies ended up arresting a 15-year-old who's now facing a felony charge. It's life and death. It is. It's the second time in as many weeks someone in the Bay Area has been charged with this. Last week in Pasco County, a pilot landed the chopper and arrested this guy himself. I ran down about five blocks to his house. Most people know better than to do this, but pilots also want to remind you even your Christmas decorations can cause problems. Just to keep them contained on the front of the house would be real helpful. These lasers aren't as strong, but can still distract pilots. Worst case is that I get a direct hit in both eyes and I'm blinded totally. They want to avoid that worst case scenario and prevent the next person from facing a felony charge. In Manatee County, Grady Trimble, 10 News. It's also a federal crime to point a laser light at an aircraft or in its path. It could end up I uh, could end, have you end up in jail for five years and face a $250,000 fine.